today's video, we're gonna be back on the 1v1 grind. So, you know, I mentioned in the previous ones video that I did that I do wanna start recording a little bit more ones games. And because I was feeling good after that last recording, I just uh, decided to keep on playing. So it's the same day, same 1v1 grind, same, you know, uh, good vibes. So let's see if we can continue the win streak from last video and I'll see you all in game number one. All right, game number one, playing against Niles here. All right. Love that. I absolutely love that start to the game. Clean kickoff beat just goes right to my side. We have 12 boosts saved up from the kickoff. That's perfect. Okay, good kickoff as well there. Just going to let him jump into it, see if I can disrupt him a little bit. Uh, you know, even if he jumps into it and, and wins that, because I have 19 boosts and I'm uh, fairly confident in the fact that I have stuff saved up. Um... Uh, Nice, good bump there. Hold on. Man, I forgot how hard it is to play ones and actually talk at the same time. Because I haven't done a, I haven't done ones commentaries in so long. But yeah, I mean, I, I can confidently just sit in front of that ball. I know that he's not going to be able to score it by jumping into it. And I know that no matter what, since I'm staying on the ground and staying grounded, I'm going to be able to uh, get back to that ball first. Um, and there's not really any threat on my net. So much better there to just drive into the 50. How did I miss that? Oh man, that's bad. Okay. Good dribble from him. Uh, bad, bad save attempt from me. I think I can afford to be on that ball a little bit faster. That's a good wave dash from him. Just gonna pinch that up. He's gonna have possession of it, but that should give me a little bit of time to actually get back and get some full boost. All right, I'm gonna take that over. He actually went for that ball. I don't think he has a lot of boost, though, because he missed that corner. Nice. Just shoot that in. Great shot. Yeah, uh, one thing I've noticed is that the more confident I am with my reads of the plays, the better I do in one. So, like, right there, I knew that he wasn't going to be able to, like, flick it up or anything like that. So, I just went into the challenge confidently. And sure enough, it actually helped me uh, score a goal. All right, again, he doesn't have boost here. I'm going to try to ground pinch this. No reaction needed for that one. I mean, that's just beautiful. It wasn't like the fastest ground pinch of all time, but hey, you know what? I'm, uh, that's something, that's a mechanic I've actually been practicing a little bit, just like in free play. You know, I'll go for that a little bit more often than, than I used to, basically. That's what I mean by practicing it. And I'm going to fake this. Try to hit it low. Okay, good play from him. Uh, you know, I've just been practicing it a little bit more than I have in the past. That's in. Oh my god, I thought that was out. I thought that was off the crossbar. Um, so, I'm glad to see that I actually was able to get a ground pinch there. I'll take this boost. Go around here. He's gonna have a touch there. That should be fine. Hit it over. Fake that. Yeah, he didn't get the back boost, so I can go for that. I should have gone up for that immediately there. Uh, that was my mistake. He's not going to be able to score that, though. I'll be able to turn that upfield. Okay, he's going to take. Nice. Good pinch there. He's going to go straight out mid. Nice. Good shot. Let's go. Just a confident read there. I knew that he wasn't going to go for it. He said, woo. I don't know why. Maybe he thought that me going for that was a bad play, but I was fairly confident that he did not want to jump at that. Um, and sure enough, I was right. He might be able to score that, though. Is that in? Oh, it's just barely in the post. That's a good shot from him. I should have gone straight for the boost here instead of the ball, because I think no matter what, even if he does touch the ball there, uh, he's probably not going to be able to actually score it. So I think I should have just gone for the boost. That's a good kickoff from him as well. I don't know if I could have gotten back for that. Like if I flip back first, it's if it's better. I think he probably was gonna score that either way. Well played from him. Okay, and I just get one right back. Do I? Okay, nice. I'll take this. Click that up high. He's got no boost here, so I'll just let him use that. Nice, I'll just hit that around. Yeah, he got that boost. Fake this. Nice. Wait on the touch. Or wait on the bounce, rather. Oh, that's a bad... 
That's a bad, uh, a bad touch, but because he went for the corner boost, I just had enough time to just reset entirely and just take a free shot. From that angle, you know, unless he's pre-jumping the shot, there's no way he's going to be able to save it. I could just tell because he had no momentum. You know, you can tell where the opponents can and can't save the ball or can and can't get to just based on their momentum. Especially if you actually know how to shoot the ball with speed. I might get demoed here. Uh, especially if you actually know how to shoot the ball with speed. So... Nice. Good shot there as well. I mean, I noticed he was going for the big boost, and I'm, I know that I can score that shot, so I'm just going to go for it. You know, even if I miss it, I know that I can score that shot, so I'm going to go for it. Because in the long term, you know, doing those shots over and over and over and having the confidence to know that I can score something like that is going to be beneficial. You know, just getting that practice, getting those reps in, building that confidence, building the, you know, base of skill that I have uh, in, in my shooting and touches and dribbles and you know, everything like that. Everything is all about building confidence and consistency. And, you know, one of the, I think I got a musty here, no. Ah, I shouldn't have left that ball. I should have just stayed on it with 20. Pinch? <laughs> almost, almost. I was trying to do like the Atal pinch, you know? You can actually pinch it pretty far without even using your flip. Uh, which is obviously you see the people that do like crazy pinches like freestyles and stuff uh, they all obviously use their pinch but they also have the perfect setups you know if need be you can pinch it very very hard without even using a flip it's like right there even though yeah I know I didn't have like the perfect setup for it or whatever oh that's a good shot well almost a good shot obviously he hit the post uh, I didn't expect that from him though nice right, so I should be able to get a good goal GG all right, we'll go right into game number two. See you all then. All right, game number two, we got Bluey. Um, let's get it. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good in once. You know, I've won the last four games in a row that I've played. Not to jinx it or anything. But I am feeling pretty pretty good in my ability and in my gameplay. I'll fake that. He's got very low boost here, so I'll just shoot it on. Even if he saves it. Okay, he got that boost, but I can go for this because I have full. Wait on this. Nice, get a soft touch, just try to collect it. I can get one more touch here. Good flip. Unfortunately, he's going to have the save, so i got to get back now. Grab some pads. Try to fake this and just shadow. Nice. I'll stay on this. Get a double. Try to just be unpredictable. That's a good bump. Is he going to save that? Yeah, I think he's got back to it. He's staying on that. I have no boost. i got to be careful. He's going to have a touch. Oh, I thought he was going to go for a soft touch there. That's a really good play from him so that he can get boost. I'm going to play in the net here. He's probably got that. I'll fake. I can get another boost pad. He's going to just fake this. Nice. Try to keep this close here. Oh, I can't get it. Yeah, that's a smart play from him. He, he knew that I was kind of struggling there. If I had sat on the post, I think I could have gotten out to that and cleared it to the right. But that's all right. That is tough. Yeah, nice. I'll go to the mid boost here. Fake that. Get a 50. That's so disgustingly bad, but it works, you know, because he, he respects the musty flick. He's seen the clips. He's seen the TikToks, you know. So he just respects the flick, sits on his goal line, and I'm just able to take a, a big 50. I'm going to fake. Wait on his touch. Nice. Play this. Shot. Bang. There we go. Love that. Love that shot. It's, it's just very easy, you know, getting the reset on the ceiling, especially if they're not going to challenge the ball instantly. Like, if they're on the ground, it's just so not better necessarily than getting the flip reset on the ball because there are certain, like, advantages and disadvantages to going off the ceiling compared to getting the flip reset on the ball. But, you know, if you get the flip reset on the ball, it, it is a lot more, obviously, consistent to know how your, your car is going to react to landing on the ceiling compared to landing on the ball. Uh, but also, you know, you do kind of get further away from the ball, which can be a good thing. If you want to take a shot with a powerful, like, flip, and you want to get momentum before you hit the ball, yeah, getting the reset off the ceiling is great. But if you want to stay close to the ball and get multiple resets, you know, it's a lot harder to do that after going from the ceiling. Although you can still do it, obviously. Good 50 there. He hits the ball out, so I know that I have time to get the boost. I don't think he has enough to actually... Nice. Good shot. 
I was gonna say, I don't think he has enough boost to actually threaten that. GG, we'll get right into game number three. See you all then. All right, game number three, we got Adrift. Let's get it. This guy's a good ones player, as far as I remember. He's uh, given me a lot of trouble in the past. Nice, good shot. He's gonna have the save though. If I hit that far post, I think it's a goal. Can I go for a Psycho here? Okay. I did go for the Psycho. Didn't get it, as I think everybody was expecting. Hit it over him. Nice. Good shot. Good shot, good flick to get back over to it. As soon as I see him fake challenging there, um, you know, I know that I can flick it once, and he's going to have to turn around, but since I already have the momentum, you know, there's a, there's a big chance that I actually get to it first. Okay. I don't like that the ball hit the ceiling there, and I just gave him a free goal. Yeah, I wish the ball didn't hit the ceiling, so I had a little bit more time to get back to it. I also wish that I touched the ball a little bit softer. There were, there were two kind of mistakes that I made there. You know, having to get around the ball and having to get under it were just... It was just too difficult to do. Uh, ideally there, we just... Um, hold on, focusing. Oh, I'm missing the ball. That is, that is not great. Okay, I kind of gave him two free goals there. Uh, he's literally had to do nothing this entire game. Uh, to actually get goals on the net, so that's pretty bad for me, but that's all right. Okay. Nice. I can keep him towards his net there just by... Okay, there we go. He said OMG. What do you mean OMG, dude? Go over him. Nice. Should be a free double. Nice. There we go. Uh, <laughs> as you say, what do you mean OMG? That was like the first demo I've gotten all game. All day, you know? Welcome to my world, man. Now you know. Okay, should be able to get this full boost here. Try to hit this ball down. Oh, that's a great challenge from him. Hopefully the ball bounces up. It is not going to bounce up. Oh, almost, almost. I think I shot that in at like 124 kph. 140. Oh my god. Yeah, that was a crazy fast own goal. Um, but... Yeah, I should have seen him challenging there and maybe just gone for a fake or a 50 or something like that. Uh, I was... Wait. What? How did that... How did that work? He got a turbo flick. Oh my god. He actually got a turbo flick. That's crazy. For those of you who don't know, uh, turbo flick refers to when the pro turbo pulsa uh, used to play. The, the other pros used to make fun of him because he, he would just mess up his front flip flicks and he would get like that touch with the underside. You know, now it's called like an Evo flick or something like that, but that's because Evo does it intentionally. Uh, whereas Turbo, he, he would just mess up his flicks and it would just work. So the pros would like make fun of him like, oh my God, that's a Turbo flick, but it would work. You know, that's why it was a Turbo flick because it, it would just work because he was Turbo. I can't get back to that. That's tough, dude. Uh, I should say OMG in the chat because I just got demoed. Now, nah, alright, we gotta lock in. We're kind of letting this game slip away from us because we got one or two goals that were unlucky. But we can definitely win this. It's a bad kickoff, though. And he got all the boost. And he got all of the boost, dude! He's grabbed all of the boost pads! Alright, five goals, three minutes. Jeez. We actually just let him score, like, five in a row without doing anything. And he's winning all the kickoffs, too, so that's too bad. I gotta fake that. Okay, wait on this. I'll try to just take possession of this ball here. Actually, just went for that. Should be fine. He's going to take that boost, though. I'll stay on this. Take that. Yeah, it should be fine. He's going to have... Should be able to get this ball. Getting bumped. A little awkward there, and I just let him get the free goal. Dude, this guy is actually just boost starving me, bumping me, demoing me, getting terrible flicks that are working. This is so frustrating. This is very frustrating right now. All right, nice. Good kickoff. All right, finally. There we go. We broke the uh, we broke the bleeding. We stopped the bleeding. Now we can win. All right. Just got to win a couple more kickoffs. I'm going to try to win this one to the right. Nice. I do win the kickoff. He might take my corner boost, though. He doesn't. Okay, he has no boost here, so I'll just let him. I right, sit that over him. Again, he's got no boost, so I'll just take this dribble. 
Uh, we'll just try to go for an air dribble bump. Nice. Good air dribble bump there. There we go. All right, we got four goals to come back. Uh, th two minutes left. Let's keep it up. Go for a wave dash kick off here. Low boost here. I'm gonna try to stay close though. Don't want to give him a ton of space. Nice, good challenge there. I'll take this because the ball's gonna bounce up. Now he might be able to touch it again, but that should be fine. He's gonna have to back off now. Now with 90 boost, I can take this ball up. He's going for a pre-jump. That is crazy. Can he double that? He missed. I don't think he has a lot of boost either, so I'll just hit that upfield. Gonna fake that, and then I'll just take this up. Gonna go for a double. Unfortunately, not gonna be a goal. That's fine. Wait on this touch here. That's a good air dribble bump attempt. I had to try to get around him, and he's just gonna take it. All right, let's see if we can come back here. I, I really don't know if it's possible, but I don't really want to forfeit, you know? I don't mind uh, playing it out, even if it's not possible. All right, this, this guy, man. I'll get behind him now, he's gonna take that. It's a good flick. I probably shouldn't have dove in there, but again, you know, there's a minute left and we need five goals, so. We got a kind of desperate measures, you know. He's gonna take that as well. That's probably gonna be the game. But he missed. Okay. Take this. Try to get a demo. No demo? No demo there is crazy. Is that in? All right, we're gonna forfeit that. GG. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. See you all in the next one. Peace.